Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a video assignment option to your D2L class site. The, D, the video assignment is provided by a company called UCU and the product works right inside of D2L without creating additional accounts or anything like that. It will look seamless. You'll, you won't even notice that you're actually using a different product. So you need to have access to the video assignment on your navigation bar. If you don't see it on your navigation bar, then you can edit your navigation bar to add more tools. So once I clicked on edit, uh, it may create a copy if you don't already have a copy. And what you're doing is you're adding a link. Once you click on add a link, then simply search for video and you'll see that video assignment is one of the tools or links that you can add. Now I already have video assignment added, so I'm not going to add it again. And then you can go ahead and save and close your nav bar. So you now have it on your nav bar. Okay, now that you have it on your nav bar, you're going to click on video assignments. And video assignments could be a great way to allow your students to create a rant or a debate point, or it could be an oral presentation, whatever the topic is. The version that is provided by the Ministry of Education within D2L, uh, the version of UCU video assignment is a freemium version. So you'll probably notice that some of the features are grayed out or they tell you that they're not available. So I'm going to go ahead and create an individual assignment. And I'm going to give the assignment a name. You can uh, create a due date for it and a time when you want it to be in by. And next, you can provide a grade. You are limited in the kind of grade that you can provide. Uh, you could do something like auto pass or stars or something like that. Um, and then just go ahead and put your own comments in and your own marking scheme later. So I'm just going to leave the default there. The instructions, when you put the instructions in, you can type in instructions that you want. So you can copy and paste them if you want to. Um, or you can actually have a combination of your typed in instructions and a video. Uh, click on plus. And you can go ahead and upload a video that you have already made previously, maybe you used it another time, or you can record a video. So this is me recording a video. I uh, actually haven't started the recording yet. And so I just simply click, click on record. Hi students, I'm gonna have you make a two minute speech explaining your position on a topic related to technology and current technology. For more information, please see the marking scheme provided in class and also provided on the D2L site. And so I've created a lovely instruction uh, for my students and I can go ahead and save that, download that, delete it and do it again, whatever you want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now it does have a peer review option. You can turn that off. If you click on show advanced, you'll notice that a lot of the features you don't actually have in the premium option. So students with a peer review, the only option that you have, if you have it turned on, is manual student selected. And the, the number is three. That is something that you can change. And the rubric self-assessment, that is something that you cannot do with the, the premium version. So I'm just gonna hide the advanced again. So going back up to the peer review, um, that is something that you can change. So if you want the students to 
uh, do a peer review and this is what would be required, you can do that or you can, you can change it so that there's no peer review. And then you would just go ahead and save it. Uh, so when your students come on, they would go ahead and uh, go on to your nav bar and they would click on the video assignment and they would see that they have a genius hour speech um, that they can then create a video for and creating the video was very will be very much like the instructions video that I created and I think a great way to allow students to do something like a speech or a debate or a rant um, or providing differentiated options in your class using video. So another idea, video assignment available now on your D2L site.